Alright, so the first step we want to do in order to add a simple pickup is go into our character blueprint and on the variables add a new variable call it pickup amount and just make it a integer it's just going to be one number to track the pickups we have collected and you want to compile and save and minimize that we may need it in just a moment then the next step is to go into the HUD which I made a tutorial yesterday on how to do this I will leave it linked in the description below but what you want to do is open up your BP UI and essentially I just changed some text I got rid of the orange color just changing it to orange I completely got rid of that in the character and I anchored the text to the bottom which is right here you just select the anchor point and this sort of just positions it better in the viewport and so I titled this one text box pickups and then I went up here and I searched for another text and put it next to it and this is just text block and what we are going to do is add a binding to this so come right over here next to the where you can type click this and do create binding it should pop up another function right here and before we can add to this we need to head over to our invent graph to optimize this just a little bit you can go ahead and delete pre-construct and tick and on construct we need to cast to third person character or whatever character you're using and then off of object to get player controller and right here as third person character we're going to right click this and do promote to variable and you can just name this character over here on the left over here on the left and then this is so we only cast one time essentially and we don't have to constantly go through the cast node we can save the value and so now with our character we can drag it in here and do get character drag off of this and say is valid because there might be one tick where it's not valid and then off of character again to get pickup amount and then drag is valid to the return node and then drag this pickup amount which is an integer into the text and it should automatically convert it for you but if not just drag off of here and do to text and select integer right there so yeah now if we compile and save this and there's a problem over here oh yeah instead of get player controller do get player character i sometimes get those backwards and then we should be able to compile and save properly and so yeah if we head over to the third person character in our pickup amount right here if we set the value to like 10 just artificially set it and then compile and save and we press play we should see over there in the bottom left pickups is the value of 10 however we do not have any way to increase this value in game so let's make a pickup real quick and to do that you want to right click in your content browser create a blueprint class make an actor and call this bp pickup like that open it up and in here we can hit this little add button right here and add a static mesh just like that and call it pickup mesh and then off of this add a box collision 
like that. And you could just leave it box, it's fine. And under the pickup mesh, we need to add a mesh for this. If you have a custom mesh, it's fine. You can use a custom mesh, but I'm just going to use this cube. And mine is a little bit too big, so just play around with it and get it to where it's fitting right. Alright, so I got mine relatively in the center of the pickup mesh, or the box. And you may have to unparent this so you can actually scale the cube. And I did have to change my mesh because that one was a little bit off-centered. But if you just work with it, you should be able to get it. You just want it to fit comfortably inside the cube, or inside the collision box. So now we can head over to the event graph. And we can delete all of this. We can say event begin overlap. And this is this will trigger any time something overlaps. And this other actor is the actor that does overlap. So what we want to do is do cast to third person character right here to make sure it's our third person character. You can assign tags to your character and you can just say if actor has tag and just do a branch but for the sake of the for the sake of the tutorial just doing a cast is fine however do keep in mind there is a much more optimized way of doing this so now from here we're going to drag off of our character reference and do set pickup amount and then we're going to drag off once more and do get pickup amount and then connect set up to that execution and then off of the git, we're going to do plus and just add. And you can add whatever value you want. I'm just going to do one and then connect this right up into there. All right, make sure you compile and save everything. And then if we drag some of these pickups into our scene like this, and remember we have to reset this value back to zero unless you want to start at 10 it's up to you and you can also subtract as well and like if if the pickups get to zero then the player dies or something that could be a cool mechanic but if we go ahead and just test this out and we press play and we run over the pickups as you can see we get one pickup but you'll also notice they're not disappearing and so, to fix this issue, is you go right back into your pickups, and after we overlap, we then just say destroy, oh, not set lifespan, we say destroy actor, right here. And this will just completely destroy the actor once we pick it up. So then once again, just compile, save all, press play to test it out. And, as you can see, when we run over a pickup, it picks it up, basically. It disappears. You don't have to make it disappear, but you can if you want to. And, in my opinion, it's best. And we could further expand this into saying if you have 10 pickups, then you can open a door. And, yeah, there's just a ton you can add to this. And expand on but yeah it's just a simple pickup system so if you enjoyed or found it useful then subscribe for more and leave a like and i'll see you next time bye bye